All right, guys, so this is my B2 um, flight test inspired design. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to test the wing structure and the airfoil configuration for the B2. This is a smaller version of the project I hope to do in the future. Uh, this only has two 50 millimeter EDFs running off of a four cell. And I really want to up that to twin 70 millimeter EDFs. But to do that, I think I'm gonna need like a seven or eight foot airplane, which is really doable but I want to test it on a smaller scale first. Additionally, and I don't know what you guys think of this, but I really don't like the canopy design, the fuselage for the B2. Uh, it's far too large, I think, and that's in part due to the fact that I couldn't find any side cutaway views of the B2. I think that's because it's still so highly classified, but that's fine. Uh, and the next one too, it'll actually have the split flap rudders. These. Uh, I originally was going to do that, but I was like, eh, it's too small. I just made the whole thing's elevons. So these two work as one and vice versa. So you have elevator ele ailerons and then elevons. The 50 millimeter EDFs will be run using differential thrust. Should be good. Access bay is in two different areas. One where the bomb bay should be, where the ESCs and transmitter are. Receiver, sorry. And then this one up here is for the battery. I need to put that piece back in, but that's not a big deal. But yeah, so, I'm gonna go fly this thing. Should be great. What do you think of the B2, Seth? I like the grass. Oh my God, for realsies.
Time to find the B2. I wonder where it went. There it is. Holy crap. It's pretty much okay. Top of the canopy came off a little bit, but that's about it. It really isn't. So after the first flight, it was pretty, pretty underwhelming, mostly because it went through full throttle, but also because there were some issues with the motor's timing. I didn't have differential thrust actually set up. Okay. So there was zero yaw control, because on the, on the real one, there's yaw control from differential thrust and from uh, split rudders on yeah. the wingtips. It's really cool. It creates drag on one side, which actually stabilizes the airplane. Cool. Yeah. This one had no yaw control whatsoever. It was literally just elevons and throttle. The throttle was set up as its own channel, but only as one. What do you mean? GoPro? But yeah. Really, uh, kind of banged up, but like a pretty great initial flight. Yeah. Proved that it's totally doable, mm -hmm. especially with a little more yaw control in the future. Remind me a lot of the little Horton HO229 I made. Mean. 